hi everyone hi and welcome back again to my channel and today i come to you with a testimony and a message at the same time you know god is good god is good all the time all the time god is good and that's his nature whether things are going well whether things are not going well despite anything and everything god is good you can be sure of that to share with you guys i really, really thank god honestly and i'm just here to just tell you what it is the lord has done for me um i'll start off with my testimony in high school i remember this one time i remember it as a flashback I remember it as as fresh as a flashback i always thought to myself you know of accident every time i hear accidents people being in accidents it's like i would you know i would feel bad for them but deep inside my heart i always feared to be involved in accident I remember this time I was walking to school because my school was not far from my house. I remember I was walking to school and then I was thinking to myself, I was just meditating to myself because I was by myself. I was like, oh my God, what would happen if I ever get involved into an accident? I might, I might get hurt, we rush to the hospital. I was just thinking about everything that could have happened if I ever got involved into one accident. I was just scared about what could have happened to me. Would, would I die? Would I stay alive? Would I get hurt? Would I break my legs? Would I... So I was thinking about the worst possible things. And from then I knew that in my life, I never want to be involved in an accident. So when I got my peas and I got my car, before I started driving my car, I sat in that car for like 30 minutes. I prayed, I prayed against accidents. I'm like, God, as long as I'm driving this car, I never want an accident. Never, 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 never. I prayed and prayed and prayed. In that car my first car I drove it everything for two years I didn't get any accident the car that I prayed in and then I got the second car and then this faithful day you would call it faithful day I was driving from school and I was going home I was going home to rest and then I got involved in, into a collusion a car accident where I knocked somebody at the back and this car was a jeep it was a big car like it was yeah you know those wheels there it was high and it had uh, a hook at the back you know this car that would carry a trailer behind them yeah, it had a hook and when i was driving i was of course i was directly behind them so i want to imagine if i knocked them out straight from the back back my car would have went inside the car and that could have been the end of me the accident happened and i, I was shocked i was traumatized i was like oh my god no it's not happening no it's not happening oh my god me oh i was dead out oh my god I was. so that's what happened so the message behind this in the book of Joel, chapter 3 verse 25 it says for the thing i fear the most has overtaken me and what i dreaded has happened to me yesterday i mean today today when i was worshiping and i was when i was praising god God reminded me of this word, Job 3.25, I'll read it again. For the thing I fear the most has overtaken me, and what I dreaded has happened to me. The main and the key message that I got, I guess a revelation I would call it, that's why now I understand God is on about do not fear I'm with you do not fear do not fear do not fear now I understand the heaviness and the depth and the power of that word do not fear when God says do not fear because what you fear the most is what's gonna come upon you this is because fear cripples you and fear is like the wood that the enemy uses to light up a fire it is the foundation that he would use to cripple you and make his plans work. Mind you why the Lord does not give us a spirit of fear. Because fear is like a living thing that the enemy can use to build himself a monument in order to succeed on his plans. And now I understand that verse that says, Free I have been set free. I'm no longer a slave to fear. And now, with all the depth that I know, now I understand why the Word of God says that the spirit that God gives us is not the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. Now I understand the power of do not fear. My dear brother and sister, I do not know what your greatest fear, your deepest fear that you're experiencing right now. Because let me assure you, the Word of God is guaranteed. The Word of God is firm. It stands he stands firm in heaven everything else will pass away but the word of god will never pass away i don't know why you are fearing i don't know why you are scared of i don't know what your deepest fear is it a fear that you never get married the fear that you never have kids is it a fear that no one will ever love you is it a fear that you will die is it a fear that you will get sick is it a fear that your family will die what fear are you grudging in your heart because the, the word of god says anxiety in the heart of man creates its stoop the more anxiety you have, it's building up. 
And at the end of the day, what you feel the most will happen to you. Same as Job. He said this, the thing that I fear the most has now happened to me. I have always feared to be in an accident. I have never. To me, it was a nightmare. A nightmare. I'm like, God, get me out of this dream. I don't want to be here. I had dreams. I had dreams, repeatedly dreams about me being in an accident. And you can imagine the, 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 the way I prayed after I woke up from that dream. I'm like, I rebuke, I rebuke. There is no way I rebuke. Me, accident. No way. No way, no way, no way, no way. It's like, in me, that's the thing that I fear the most. And when this verse was brought to me, the thing that I fear the most has not happened to me. I want you to understand the power of not being afraid of anything at all. As long as you believe that God is with you, that's enough. So after that, I pray to God and I cast out all the fear of God. Every fear that I have right now, even the one that I don't know about, I'm casting every fear out. There is no way I'm going to be carrying fear in my heart because what you fear the most is what's going to happen to you. That's why you need to have faith because what you believe in is what's going to happen. It all starts from the mind. It all starts from the spirit and then it manifests to the flesh. What you fear the most is what's going to happen. This fear, is, it was an inside thing. It was in my heart, it was in my spirit. It was, it was a, a spiritual thing. It manifested to be a physical and I got into an accident. If I never kept it in my heart for so long, since high school, I'm at uni now. It's been long enough, God has been keeping me alive. And of course I thank God I'm alive. But what you feel the most, please, cast away all fear and everything that is standing against the will of God, cast that out. You have, given, you have, you have been given the power to say no to the enemy and he will flee from you. So anything that raises itself against the knowledge of God, cast that out because you have been given the authority to close and open anything in heaven. So child of God, cast out all your fears, all your anxiety, all your worries to God. Do not keep fear in your heart. Do not fear for God is really with you.